Um, we too would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians on the land who's, um, on whose land we meet today and for tomorrow, and to acknowledge um, their elders past, present and their future elders. My name is Monica. I'm with the Flinders University Northern Territory Medical Program. We operate out of the um, CDU campus up in Darwin. To give you a little bit of uh, information about the medical program for those who are not aware, the medical program um, is a partnership uh, with the CDU and Flinders to deliver a Doctor of Medicine here in the Northern Territory. This provides an opportunity for Territorians to study here in the Territory and um, without leaving, so there are some advantages of that. Uh, it's also developing our homegrown workforce. A brief history for us, in 1996 um, the NT Clinical School was established and in 1997 we had two of our first um, third year students come, into the, um, come to the Territory. In 2006 campuses were established in Catherine, Alice Springs and Nullamboy and in 2009 um, the federal budget funding um, allowed us the opportunity to create or to build the buildings for the medical program. 2011 saw us taking our first intake of doctors. Um, in terms of um, what we have, uh, we have um, some great facilities out at the Charles Darwin University where we train our, um, where we, uh, our doctors or our training uh, students actually spend the first two years of their uh, studies. Then they'll move on to um, a recently completed facility at the Royal Darwin Hospital. We have um, learning facilities um, in Alice Springs, Catherine and Nullamboy, uh, recently um, completed um, simulation labs in Catherine and also a simulation lab in Nullamboy. Our course, we take in 24 students each year. Um, they, we um, have Northern Territory Government sponsored places, which means that uh, the students that come into our course have their hex paid for. Um, what is required in return is um, a two-year return of service where they'll, study, they'll stay with the NT government for their internship and their residency. So our criteria for entry into the medical program is we give um, priority to Northern Territory and Indigenous students. Um, in actual fact, Aboriginal, or Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander students from the Northern Territory are our first priority. Our second priority are Territorians. Our third priority are Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander students from the um, elsewhere in Australia and then uh, it's open. We uh, generally don't take or we don't take um, international students at this time. We have, um, we provide our students with a high level of support throughout the, their um, studies with us and uh, we offer three pathways into our program which is a graduate entry, um, the uh, dual degree with the Charles Darwin University for our Bachelor of Clinical Science and um, medical degree as well as our Indigenous entry stream. Thanks, Monica. Um, you'll see there that we have two local um, Alice Springs boys, um, both Ruri and Regan Little. So they started the program in 2012. Um, so I'll just explain how you get into medicine. Um, so yeah, medicine is a very rigorous and robust study, unlike anything else. Um, so it's a lifelong journey. It's um, for those that are interested in in sciences, in developing clinical skills, and research. Um, if you're interested in, in teaching Aboriginal health, um, or if you have a passion for Aboriginal health specifically, we currently have 14 students enrolled in the NT Medical Program, um, and we hope to have our first graduate at the end of, or next month actually. So we've had um, a very, um, hard uh, four years to um, work our way through through that. Currently, there's 150 Aboriginal doctors Australia-wide, and there's currently 250 Indigenous um, medical students. And I'll, a couple of weeks ago, I was lucky enough to attend the Indigenous Doctors um, Association, and we're, we're also um, growing a second generation of doctors. So studying medicine is achievable in our communities today. So um, these are some of the entry pathways into medicine. Um, we have the first one is a year 12 um, pathway that's open to students who, who finish the year 12. They must have an ATAR score together with sitting the UMAT testing, the undergraduate medical admissions test. 
Um, and depending on your scores, Flinders University will look at 10% of the UMAT score, which will enable you to get into a two-year Bachelor of Clinical Science, which CDU offers. Um, and then you do two years of that, then you are eligible to come in to do a four-year medical degree. Um, then you can graduate with a double degree, a Bachelor of Clinical Science and a Master's in a Doctor of um, Medicine. As a graduate, so students, people out there, if you have a degree, then you're eligible to come into these two remaining pathways, um, either through GAMSAT or the Indigenous Entry Stream. Um, they're very similar, but the GAMSAT is the general admissions test um, and the Indigenous Entry Stream. Indigenous applicants can apply through e either of those pathways. Um, you have both, both tests have an interview. Um, we also look at your grade point average of your undergraduate degree. And in the IES, we have a two-week pre-preparation for medicine program together with our online science program. So as a result of our 2011 cohort, we had, you know, most of our Indigenous students study humanities and not sciences. So it's about um, making sure that students that are interested in medicine to study science. So we've had to develop a online science program. Um, so students that go through the IS, they're required to complete that and engage on a regular basis. Um, and then we've been able to offer students a to come into the four-year Doctor of Medicine program. So all students that are enrolled in the NT Medical Program are bonded, so after the four years of medicine, they're required to give two years back after graduation with NT Health. Um, so the Bachelor of Clinical Science um, requires an ATAR score of 85 upwards. Um, we have two places in that program for Indigenous students. Unfortunately, we haven't been able to fill those two places. Um, you know, we're, we're also competing with universities down south, and those universities have um, attracted students earlier on. So we're ramping up our school engagement program now. We're getting out into the schools. We're getting schools to come into the, into the CDU campus and um, giving, um, well, getting, Aboriginal kids interested in sciences. So we're developing some school prizes to years seven, eight, and nine. We're offering scholarships to year 11 and 12 students. So, you know, making science an option for our kids. Um, so the Bachelor of Clinical Science has a foundation in, a solid foundation in medical related sciences. You can choose to do pharmacy, med lab sciences, ex exercise and sports sciences. So um, it's, it's about providing um, school leavers with the option of studying medicine. So the UMAT test is held in July every year, but you have to, you have to up register. And through the ITP program, we will pay for students to sit the UMAT test. So in the four-year Doctor of Medicine program, um, you do two years at the, at the campus in Darwin, and um, years three and four, you, choose, you can choose to do it through hospital-based medical education um, with clinical training at Darwin, Catherine, Nullamboy, and here in Alice Springs. In fourth year, you have the choice of doing um, eight six-week rotations with an international rotation. Um, we're also, well, through the Indigenous Transition Pathways Program, we provide our students with immense supports, and some of those supports um, are around um, scholarships and bursaries. So through our Commonwealth Government funding, we are able to provide students with a $20,000 bursary every year. Um, we have textbooks, um, we provide electronic devices, um, we also provide elders on campus who provide social emotional um, supports. We are developing a mentoring program um, next year. We've been able to target um, Indigenous doctors that want to work with our program. So that enables us to make sure that students have that mentoring program to get them through the four years. Um, 
And yeah, that's our website if you need to contact us. Thank you. Thank you.